And I now give the floor to the distinguished representative of Unanima International. My name is Laura Hicks, and I am Unanima International's Executive Assistant and Assistant United Nations Representative. I will be reading Unanima International's oral statement in response to the UN's 60th session of the Commission for Social Development's priority theme. As we continue to examine data and listen to those with different lived experiences amid the pandemic, it is apparent that COVID-19 has acted as a risk multiplier. People living on the margins, one crisis away from falling into poverty, hunger, and housing insecurity, suddenly were confronted by these realities all at once. It is well known that women and children are among those most at risk of suffering from traumatic events like poverty, job loss, and hunger. With minimal access to financial support and social services, women and children in abusive relationships can be forced into unsafe working conditions, trafficking, and inadequate shelters. Women and children enduring gender-based violence suffer from emotional and mental trauma, which significantly hinders their quality of life and ability to bring in necessary income. The reality is that violence and poverty together often drive women to seek refuge with family members, shelters, or in unsustainable housing. These forms of homelessness go unnoticed, and the unique traumas that come with female homelessness are too often invisible in our society. To achieve the 2030 agenda and ensure that no one is left behind, it's crucial that member states center their efforts to address homelessness at the heart of their strategies for sustainable development. Homelessness is not simply a byproduct of poverty. It is often the cause and the consequence of numerous issues that member states and civil society discuss at places of power. Eradicating homelessness and its root causes is necessary for both the empowerment of all women and girls and for a truly inclusive and resilient recovery from COVID-19. To successfully break the interconnected cycles of poverty, gender-based violence, and homelessness, we recommend that member states address family homelessness through gender-sensitive policies and resource allocation. And we also recommend member states provide access to quality services for all, especially for women and children, survivors of gender-based violence, and those experiencing homelessness. We would like to thank the International Presentation Association and our NGO members. Thank you. I thank the distinguished representative of Unanima International for her statement.